I know one job. I uh, I quit one minute before my shift. You quit? Well, <laughs> I did that shit before. <laughs> I didn't care. My my man and my supervisors were straight assholes, bro. I just like mine are too. I'm giving it my two weeks uh fucking Monday. Yeah, the one I was with, I just hit them up. It was like seven fifty nine. I was like spoke to one of my coworkers. I was just like, yo, um, just let uh Beth know I quit. <laughs> oh, I said just like that. I wouldn't have said anything because they might take that on the person that fucking ended up quitting. I mean, the, the person that delivered the message. Oh, yeah, because I, I messed everybody's, uh, you know, because when one person not there, the weight falls on, like, everybody else, but oh, I ain't yeah. giving a fuck because my supervisors were assholes. Are we live right now? Yeah, we yep. live. Oh, shit. You know how we do that. that yeah, I should know by now. Well, at least your uh, work ethic is as worthy as the shit you sell. Yeah. I, always <laughs> try to, always try to <laughs> I want you to say something crazy, you know. Everybody. So if anybody was listening or didn't hear, Heart 8, you know, backed out two minutes beforehand. So Heart 8, just like a nigga, just like a nigga would, all right? <laughs> Hits me up at exactly 5.59. Yo, I can't make it. All right. Oh, my like God. A black man would do. <laughs> Probably knew he couldn't make it all day today, or at least an hour before, but he hits me up at 5.59. Fam, I can't make it. Black people. <laughs> exactly why I try to invite more white folk to this podcast. They show up like two hours before. BG, I'm here. <laughs> When's it start? Yeah, they be, they be oh, ready. Man. Somebody have a Dolphins hat on. I'm so salty as an Eagles fan for last week. Yeah, I can't believe it. Oh my but, God. Uh, let's get into these uh, introductions. Episode 15, Weapon Wheel Podcast. We're going to get into introducing the guns. Uh, Black Bond think he the shit because he start every week, so we're going to start on the yellow. Uh, I am the new co-host because I actually show up week to week, but if you don't know me, Black Bond, you can follow me on Twitter, on YouTube. Be sure to also check out IGN, The Real Truth of YouTube. Oh boy. Uh Kids Move. Uh oh, what's up everybody? It's your boy Kids Move from the official we game here dot com. I'm sorry I sound like shit. Um getting over a cold, but I'm glad to be back on. I didn't call out sick, even though I got every excuse to do that. Alright. Uh Darion. Yeah, yeah. Man, boy Darion is king from the official we game here dot com, man. Just here to check out this podcast. You feel me? Alright. Uh, Fringy. Uh, everybody gets it wrong. Uh, it's Fringy. Really? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't say my name that much. Like, I don't talk about myself that much. But, uh, yeah, my name's Fringy. Glad to be here. I've been saying, like, Fringy ever since I, like, discovered your channel. Oh, uh, you're not alone. Everybody says Fringy. Everybody. Uh, Jack Move. Hey. What's poppin' everybody? This uh, this Jack move, man. The guru, giddy up. But you can also call me your <coughs> your pony commissioner. How long it took you to come up with that? I don't know. I was just you know chilling one day. I'm like shit, I'm a pony commissioner, man. Need to let these people know, but I don't know. All right, that's cool. That's yeah, no cool. doubt. Mm. All right, uh, podcast gonna be up on SoundCloud after this. Um, everybody's link gonna be in the description, so uh, we're gonna get right into these topics. Um, <clears throat> start off talking about Halo because we've been talking about Halo for weeks, um, and it's probably gonna be short. So uh, a lot of people speculated that Halo um, sold like 6.6 6 million, which most of us knew was kind of far fetched. And uh, VG charts, even though it's obviously not accurate, it's just an estimate. Estimated yep. something very far away from 6.6 million. Um, Previous weeks, we all guessed like maybe two, three, at the highest, four million. But uh, VG Charts estimated, I'm going to screen share it right now. VG Charts estimated a nice old 1.5 million. 
Mm. Where? Hold on. It's a top seller for the week. Yeah, the top one. Okay. There we go. So, what do y'all think? Like How accurate do you think that is? That's yeah. worldwide. All right. So that's all right. This uh, brings us back to last week when um, Jack moved. He said he saw something that says one point five, and then somebody said nine. Um, the nine hundred something like that, nine hundred thousand. I said so. This worldwide one point five. I guess they're going based off uh, the report of the Neo guy for the closest thing um, that they can come up with. Um, do I agree? Um, if that's the physical, uh, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, I, I think it sounds about right. It's like, um, if you're not in digital sales, since we know that happens, but. Like, I mean, we all knew that it was not going to be, like, 6.6 6 million, but at the same time, I think, like, this is a lower number than people would have expected, given that, you know, all the other Halo games sold really well very early on. I mean, it could, it could be right, it could be wrong, but one thing is for sure, whether anybody believes it right or wrong, we're not looking at a margin of 5 million, 6 million. No, that no. what people are talking about. Oh, it sold six point six million. <laughs> no, We're not looking at a margin of error of four to five no. to six million. But no, um, probably wouldn't have even brought three million. Yeah, but one thing I will say is this: StarCraft Two sold a million oh, in a God. day. So <laughs> hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. So if Microsoft did sell for six million or whatever, they would have said something. Why wouldn't you? If you had a launch that was legitimately more than a million or a couple million, three million a day, which people were talking about, they would have came out and said something. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Like, you, like we, we made $400 million in revenue. Whenever they talk about that, instead of just saying the game sold this much, it's because they're not happy with the sales. Or Pretty they're, much. they're not happy enough with it. Because, I mean, this is a good number. Let's not, let's not you know, say it's a bad number. It is still a good number, but... The fact that they wouldn't just say the game sold 2.5 million opening week. I mean, Bethesda were quick to say 12 million shipped. Yep, they were real quick. <laughs> yeah. Real and quick. now you have Activision Blizzard. They won't even report on World of Warcraft numbers <clears throat> anymore. They'll only record revenue and like how much the community's involvement in spending and this, that, and the third. Same I mean, thing. I think the numbers are close though. I think it's like I think it's probably sold around two million physical copies and maybe like maybe an extra maybe a one mil extra, I would say a mil mil point five maybe of uh, of digital sales, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But um I'm 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 thinking it's around close to three million global though. Yeah, Total. that's what I'm saying. Even if you double <laughs> yeah. it, it's still not yeah. what people were fanboying out that it was yeah. that it was to be. That wouldn't be. I mean, there's no way that you're gonna have over a third of the install base buying one game. That never happens. Well, unless it's Nintendo, because you know yeah. they don't have any games to buy. <laughs> <laughs> what if like a whole bunch of publishers started following suit, and like nobody told us how much games sold? Mm -hmm. That would be the most shady shit ever. They'd have they to. Not, they'd have to be able to do that, because stockholders yeah. and people, they, ha they, have to, they have to release something. Even if they don't do press releases, they, it'll still come out in the investment calls, so they really can't do that. Like, even when Nintendo has those investment calls, they detail how many units each game sold and things like that. Yep. So yep. there's no avoiding it at the end of the day. Yeah. But we all can agree it didn't sell 6.6. 6. Or 5. Oh. Or 4. But you know, if you run into an Xbox Mafia member, just keep you just keep quiet, because they're gonna say you wrong, and it definitely sold six point six million. <laughs> no matter what you say. Don't for, don't forget facts. Facts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag facts. I wonder if like can you play sound clips through through Google Hangout? I need to like you? sound clip that. Oh, yeah, facts. Got it. So, and just play it. Oh my God! I need to. I need to figure. I, don't, it out. I can play it. The school, system, the school system in uh, the UK, or Europe, wherever he's from. I mean, they God. failed him. Mm, yeah, something, something happened because when you can't differentiate and discern the difference between a fact and an opinion. I mean, whenever somebody says fact, okay, show it to me. Prove it. <laughs> I don't need to. I don't have it. It's common yeah. People sense. will say like people will say something that's like clearly an opinion and be like facts after it. <laughs> 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 yeah, <that's laughs> probably. Right, bro. 
Like, this is the best game of the year. Facts. Facts. Like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Unless you're talking about The Witcher 3, then you know that's saving uh, you. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. No. <laughs> Greatest Japanese game to ever be ever not be released yet. Facts. <laughs> I'm like, what, fam? Oh my god. Um. So, uh, Tomb Raider. So, Tomb Raider apparently uh might have bombed, uh, at least in the in the UK. Um, not sure if they released like the US numbers yet, mm-hmm. but uh, in the UK it sold like. Well, I think they said less than sixty-five thousand. Five thousand. Where are you at, Fringe? You're in. Uh, I'm in right? Australia. Okay. So let me see if I can bring that up. Yeah. Do I and, have um, They did say that Fallout, by comparison, sold over four hundred thousand in that time frame. Yeah. I heard, I heard it did one hundred eighty-three week one. Uh week no, one. that's what Tomb Raider did week one uh, on three hundred and sixty and PS3, I think. Yeah, no, Fallout 4 sold well. Yeah, it hit like above 400,000. So this is exactly what we said was going to happen. I mean, when you have a game as big as Fallout so, next to a Tomb Raider game, I mean, so you're going to get squashed. That's the next question. So with in the UK, because uh, the original Tomb Raider says sold like 183,000 first week. This one's uh, sold less than 65,000. Um so did Microsoft like send Tomb Raider out there to die by allowing it to stay with the Fallout release date? Yeah, absolutely. Not. I don't even see any commercials for Tomb Raider on TV. Uh, I, I can't have, watch I've anything without seeing yeah, Fallout I've seen it everywhere. But the thing about that is they really didn't have a choice because they want to catch the holiday sales. They want to get them holiday bundles out, so they ain't going out to Christmas. And it was pretty much a major release every week, you know what I'm saying, in the holiday uh, fucking release window. So it was going to get that, killed regardless, if you ask me. That, and then you got um, Battlefront uh, out there and everything. Yeah. I mean, didn't Battlefront release a week early on uh, EA Access anyway? So it's like now you've got three major games on the Xbox One releasing at the same time. If they released mm-hmm. with Battlefront, they would have had better chances, I think. Yeah, I was hoping they pushed it back. Uh, one week with Battlefront, I thought it would, it it probably could have stood, like I want to say it would have went toe to toe, but it would have done better, performed better if it came out the same week as Battlefront. It would have had, it that would have removed it at least two weeks from uh, Call of Duty, um, and then a week from Fallout. So after that first week, you know, all sales drop, you know, yeah. so it would have. It would have done something. I don't know. We don't know what it done in in North America yet, but I don't think it did as bad as it did in the UK. But no. what does game on games on average first week sell in like the UK? Is it comparable uh, to what that. happens here? More I mean, it depends on what kind of game it yeah. is. Yeah, Ra- racing games and shit like that, soccer games, shit like that. FIFA over sells really well in the UK, like yeah. every year. Yeah, I think they did. I think they did hang them out the dry though, like. You know, instead of what they should have did was either bring it a week earlier. You know what I'm saying? Because there was nothing from that that was really going on that that week except for the Call of Duty. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So they should have just did it on that week and just went toe to toe with Call of Duty. Even though you know COD is COD, but you know go to toe to toe with Call of Duty instead of Fallout because everybody was waiting for Fallout. There was like, I mean, the hype for Fallout was ten times. The amount it was ridiculous. Five years in the making or something. Yeah, but so. but Tomb Raider might have that effect where you know it may not have like the greatest first week, but it might have one of them like oh second week, third week sales after everything we're off. Black Friday comes around. Yeah, the holiday I, don't, I, season. I don't have no doubt it's gonna sell in the holiday season because there's people, a lot of bogos you know, going around and buy yeah, one get one. That f- the first week sales is gonna be ugly because it went up against Fallout though. Probably not that is. bad. I think it's gonna be somewhere between at least somewhere between. 150 to 250 um, 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 K. I don't think it's going to be that bad. That, that's bad. I think that's pretty I mean, that's, bad. I, I still think that's, 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 that's bad, bro. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, the, sequel, the sequel did that. I mean, the, the original. Yeah, yeah so, it, but the thing is, if it, uh, the original did that, but it did that what? Across what? No, I think that it, it did that on wow. one. I don't know. I'll have to check. No, that was, that was across all three, I think. I mean, but even yeah. still, like, you, if you look at the numbers and you're like, oh, this game is a success. 
if, if Crystal Dynamics can't turn a profit on the game, and it took them like 6.3 million units to turn a profit on the original game, 150,000 to 200,000 has got to be terrible for them. Well, th this is the thing about that. Uh, Microsoft paid for the development of that game, so Crystal Dynamics is not losing any money. Oh, partially, though. Partially, I'd say. Well, so but they the 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 all the game, marketing though. and all that shit. Like, I don't think they really tripping off that. So oh. hurts the brand of the game, though. To be yeah, 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 hurt the, the, the fucking I, want, I at least want people to play my game. Like, okay, the money's cool, but like, okay, I I made I worked on this game for like two years, and like nobody played it. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah, that kind of hurt. And the yeah. the other thing is, it may not recover in sales because people Fallout's not a game you beat in a week. Fallout's maybe not even a game you beat in a month. Look. It, at the end of the day, this was Square Enix's fault. They got in bed with Microsoft. Who, who was uh, well, they was probably winning at the time that they did. Well, no, no, they, they probably won winning at the time that they did this. But they got in the bed with Microsoft, knowing what was gonna happen, and shit, they gotta live with it. They got five or so million dollars, of, from what I'm hearing, to do that. So shit, PC gonna save them. Yep, just like Alan yeah. Wake. Yeah. Well, they'll probably be like three dollars on PC. I don't know if they're gonna help them too much. <laughs> I, I will have the sixty frame per second version day one. Well, I'll go buy like fifteen copies of that bitch. All right. I mean, wait, hold on. One question though: What did it? The remaster, the definitive edition, whatever they made. What did that sell better on, the three hundred and sixty or the PS four? Yeah, PS four. Sold two to one on PS four. So Sorry. then, why yeah. would? Why would they make a deal with Microsoft as opposed to Sony then? Because that money must have been that real. Money. <laughs> yeah. so they had like a long-standing relationship with them, like going back to like the Xbox 360 days. It was some stupid shit. They I had said. a marketing deal. It had uh, Tomb Raider had a marketing deal with Xbox. That's why it, like shut up at their E3 conferences. That might explain it. Because it doesn't make sense for you to make a deal with somebody where my game sells better on the other opposing and, platform. And that money is up front. It's like, you know, how people yeah. say, would you rather have a million dollars now or one dollar for, the, like, one dollar increasing for the rest of your life? They're probably like, look, that money looking real nice right now, though. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. Looking real yeah. nice. They paid right there. Yep. And another thing is, it also, because of Fallout, it might not sell, but then people are like, well, the game's coming out on PC soon. And the game's coming out on PlayStation 4 later. Things might have been different if it was just exclusive overall, but we'll never know. Yep. Yeah. 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 Um, so, I mean, I hope more, more people play it because I enjoyed it. Uh, it was really good. <laughs> yeah, so, it's... more people need to get it. I'm, I'm probably going... I'm, I'm definitely getting it again on, P on PC, no doubt. Of course, you gotta play that. You haven't played the game until you play it at 60 frames per second. That's par That's partially true. I'm gonna partially agree with you. I'm waiting on the defensive version, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta, you know, that's the, you're gonna get the Xbox 360 version, bro. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, it is on Xbox 360. I keep forgetting. Yeah. Yeah. The definitive version is on the Wii U, I heard. Yo. Oh, <laughs> You know, it's pretty sad, speaking of the Wii U, like, we went into this generation hearing nothing but rumors, and we're, like, not even three years into the generation. Now, we're again, we're hearing nothing but more rumors. Yeah. Like, the whole life of a Nintendo fan is just speculating on rumors. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely is. So, uh, hopefully, good luck to Tomb Raider and everything like that. It's a great game. I need to go pick that up. Yeah. Ponies. Shame. On you if you no, didn't I, I do want to play it. I do want to play the game. It looks good. And if you don't buy it, Kid Smooth will remove you off his friends list. Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> but yeah, don't developers need to stop doing that and publishers overall. Stop sending these games out to die. You know when you know they can't compete. I think the holiday season is overrated. Like It's true. Just just put it, it it's gonna sell less. Even even in the holiday season, if you put it up next to a juggernaut, it has a better chance you waiting until like there's until the holiday season is over when there's but more. Space. The first the first quarter of 2016 is stuff too though. So when would they come out then? Like J January yeah. don't don't really got nothing in it. I looked in January. It's it's a it's a bunch of no profile games. Honestly, yeah. In January. 
Yeah, there's nothing in January. Like January would be long. perfect for two months. Well, games usually sell less overall in January, though. They'll probably yeah, because that's the, that's the fucking recovery. Like, yeah, nobody, yeah. Yeah, that's when everybody returning shit. <laughs> well, early February then, but early February is pretty packed, too. What was that one game Nintendo released that came out like the same day Grand Theft Auto and it like completely uh, fucked up? Wonderful the 101. Superhero game. Oh, my God. What were they thinking? <laughs> <laughs> and you. then people were like, oh, but, you know, Grand Theft Auto is not on uh, the Wii U, so it won't matter. Yeah, oh. it's going to matter. <laughs> I was like, bro, y'all niggas is crazy. <laughs> oh, God. It's not going to sell. All right, so uh, ISIS and the PlayStation 4. So, uh, you know, a lot of people have been making light of this situation because at first there was speculation that there was a link between um, ISIS using the PlayStation 4 to communicate. And if it did up, did end up being true, it was like no fault of the PS4s because it's not like they were hacking the PS4 to communicate. They yeah. were using... The story was that they were using regular means like game chat or in-game chat or, you know, the regular messaging system or uh, using some type of way to communicate in-game, like bullets on a wall or something like that. It was a whole bunch of different theories. Um, but the report came out that there was no link between P the PS4 and the Paris attacks. It was just all speculation. I'm trying to bring it up right now. But, uh, you know, PC dog shit don't like to listen. Oh, <laughs> you know, how, you know how that go. Just feel like doing its own thing. Kind Only of thing I know is, bro, that story was completely blown out of proportion. I mean, you can connect to the internet damn near with anything, like so. They could have been communicate through cell phone, computer, like, bro. You just can't monitor the shit like that. Well, niggas is. Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's the way fanboys re overreact, though. You got to think about it like this. You, when you go into a mindset of a fanboy, it's anything that you have to use against the other opposition. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when people get a sense of news like the Paris attack and stuff like that, and then they hear like the PS4 was into it, fanboys are going to use that in their, their you know, the console war. It, it shouldn't even be like that. But yeah. This is all about. They're just. They basically were. Even if it's not true, I don't even think it's true anymore. I think. I think they they uh, debunked it, and I think uh, somebody had came back and said it wasn't true. I think it was Forbes. Um, and I think it's. I think it's just sick that people want to use the Paris attack to fight their console war, man. You gotta. You gotta be able to be more of a. I guess a, a, a upstanding person. You know what I'm saying. That's that's kind of fucked up that you would do that, man. It's sick. It's terrible. And like I said before, anybody who likes, retweets, favorites, follows, or positively associates themselves with morons like that, you're just as bad. And if you want to get technical about it, these guys have probably used cell phones, the internet, worn clothes, breathed air, drank water... Are you going to stop using the same electronics that they've used, stop eating food, stop breathing air? Like, come on. I mean, what was going on in their minds to, like, l this was only a few days after, the like, the smoke hadn't even cleared yet. And I said this before, but I bet you, like, some of these guys, when they saw this news story, they smiled because they were like, oh, now I've got some ammo to use in the console war yep. instead of thinking yeah. about the 150 people dead, hundreds injured, and just the fact that you shouldn't be using people's deaths to push a console war agenda. Yeah. Terrorist Station 4, ISIS oh, wow. Station oh, like, oh, my God. You even had one idiot who said, oh, I'm selling my PlayStation 4 now. I don't want to be associated with terrorists. Well, yeah, sell if, your you, if you play PlayStation 4, you're supporting ISIS and terrorism. I'm like, bruh. Be a patriot, oh buy the Xbox, which has no American parts or American manufacturing in it. It's all overseas. <laughs> <laughs> that joint be blowing my mind. People be talking about buy something just because it's American. Listen, a lot of American products ain't that good. Yeah, American products are dog shit. And a lot of American products aren't even made in America. Exactly. Nope. Not put together in America, too, sometimes. I mean... It's not gonna work for me here. Like, oh, buy only Australian. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. So many buy... <laughs> Like even with America, I don't know any. I, I I don't know anybody personally that even likes American cars. Like you, I don't even see American cars like that around where I live. Yeah, I got a I got an American car. I got a Ford, man. Oh man. Oh, I got a Japanese car. I got a Toyota. 
Everybody does. Yeah. You can <laughs> I mean, e even the Patriots, the haters, they have Japanese cards, and that makes no sense to me. I thought it was support America. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, who was the dude that uh was was saying support America, and he was in his Japanese car, <laughs> <laughs> what? like living in the UK too? And he was like, "Is it irrelevant? It's only about America." Like, bro. And why do you have people in the UK saying only America matters? Like, you're just admitting yeah. to yourself that America <laughs> that you matter. matter. In my mind. <laughs> I mean, it's a funny thing to say too when even if you look at like console sales half of them are in Europe so like half of it's in Europe but they're irrelevant okay I'm like how do you completely disclude yourself out of the argument like oh I don't matter it's all about America <laughs> America that's crazy my life for Spencer <laughs> sell it <laughs> But yeah, like they should not, definitely not be making no joke out of you know ISIS and the place and you know everything like that. That's just crazy, man. Yeah. That's wild. It is. Um, they also disable their comments and ratings too to close that out. I wonder why. Yeah. Um. So, <laughs> Battlefront, as I just uploaded a video on, is getting a lot of hate, and you know I don't really, I don't really understand. I don't get it. I don't really get it. Like I get okay the price, right? People don't like the price, but I'm trying to understand how does that make the quality of the game bad? It's expensive, but how does that make the game bad? I don't think the game is quite bad. I just think uh, people people see, you know, I guess the same people that made Battlefield making Battlefront, they expected something different, but at the same time, you know, some of these guys, they didn't even play the PS2 game or, you know what I'm saying, when it was Battlefront on PS2, but this this game to me, I did I didn't really like it because I'm more of a technical guy when it comes to shooters. I like to have recoil on my guns, and this you could just shoot for days and not have really any, you know, uh, I guess you you won't have any drop shot like you know what I'm saying. It's just yeah. it's just straight. You're just shooting straight every single time. I don't I don't like that. I like There's bullet. Um, bullet travel though, you gotta like take into account the bullet uh, travel because like mm -hmm. they actually things that exist in the environment instead of like Call of Duty where you just aim the gun at the person and no bullets come out, they just die. Yeah. So there is that to it. I mean, the the game itself, I think is like as a game, it's good, even if it's not as good as Battlefront Two. Most of the hate is due to the season pass being fifty dollars. And the fact that there's not enough content in the game right now. But my issue with that is, where were all these people when uh, Mortal Kombat X had day one DLC in the season pass? Where were these people when even Battlefield 4 had four maps day one as DLC exclusive to Xbox One and a $50 season pass? Like, only now does it matter. That's what annoys me. Yo, yep. I was looking at some of my favorite multiplayer games. I was sitting back and looking at them. Most of them don't don't even have nearly the, the amount of content that Battlefront does. My favorite multiplayer games. They don't have it. And the thing is, we, the same people complaining, if they think about the multiplayer <laughs> games they like the most, I, I bet you that most of them don't even have 16 maps. I bet you. StarCraft has a lot more. Really, bro, it just it boils down to like what Frank was saying. It just is what people are willing to pay for some. Now, the problem with Battlefront is... Like he said, a lot of people didn't play the PS2 ones. The people that are trying to play Battlefront are people that play Call of Duty, Battlefield, but they probably don't have a love for the Star Wars IP, so they're not willing to fuck with it like that. Like, I'm not, like, you love Star Wars, chances are you willing to drop, you know, 50 off for the season pad. Because I played the baby, you know what I'm saying? It was a cool game. I don't like Star Wars, so I ain't going to fuck with it. But people, you know what I'm saying? It's just people, they, they, they faking it right now. Well, Battlefront 2 did have a lot more content. Like, I was not happy. I mean, I'm, I think I made a video in April. Like, I was really early to talk about how I wasn't happy that there's way less heroes, way less planets. Um, and I think the issue is because there are less planets, even though you may have a decent number of total maps, they all sort of blur together. If you're on Tatooine, it doesn't matter where you are. It's the desert planet. If you're on Hot, that's all ice planet. So then it makes it seem like there's even less content because of the fact that all the maps look the same. Titanfall had a similar issue where a lot of the maps sort of played the same. So then it got boring a bit too quickly. And uh, that whole voice chat thing? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's something I definitely don't agree with. Yeah, that was uh, kind of stupid. Yeah, you gotta have in game chat, man. It's a shooter, man. You gotta have some type of in game chat. You're not gonna be in party chat with everybody. Yeah, I'm fucking yelling and realizing nobody can hear me. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that Twitter voice chat would have been like hectic as fuck, though. And people want to talk about, oh, it's casual. Since when y'all complain about something being casual? If y'all don't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, Man, casual. listen, if I wanted I to play a game online with no voice chat, I'd buy a Wii U. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Speaking of which, I got a Wii U, though. Black Black over the the console. It's casual, but y'all don't know Call of Duty. Yeah, I mean, Battlefront's got more to it than Call of Duty. I mean, there's aerial combat. Like, that's already more mm-hmm. than Call of Duty has. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm definitely not denying it's a casual game. It's definitely casual, but I'm oh, just... Yeah. Like, if anything, I'm the one that should be upset it's casual. The rest of y'all be defending all that, all that casual bullshit. <laughs> yeah, well... There should be a story mode, though. I, I will say there should be a story mode. You know, Battlefront 2 could do it, so there should be a story mode here. That's I don't see how there's not a story mode. Like, out of all games that should not have a story mode, how does Star Wars don't have one? I would just, if I was, I said this before, if I was EA, I got the license for the game, I borrow one of the one of my old movies and just throw, throw that in there. All right, there's your campaign. You know I why they ain't got no story mode, though? Because they're having just a separate because... developer making a separate game. So you'd have to buy well, it. that too. Amy Hennig is writing a Star Wars game right now. The woman that uh wrote Uncharted, Soul Reaver, shit like that. The reason they ain't got no story mode is simple though. They know that if they didn't add one, was nobody gonna really complain, and y'all niggas were still gonna buy it. So why add one? It's also <laughs> true. Like, come on, man. They pimping these hoes. Definitely is. <laughs> Definitely pimping them. So uh, yeah. I mean, I'm enjoying the game. I don't know about the rest of you hoes. What? Who? Who? Who here bought it? Am I the only? No. I didn't buy it. I played the hell out of the beta. I think it's a good game. I just think it's kind of lacking, kind of too accessible, which isn't a bad thing. But it's like, and then the whole, it's like a big team battle game, but you can't talk to anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm the only exactly. one that bought it. No, I got no, it. No, I got it. I got oh, okay. It. I mean, oh, it yeah. definitely has a little focus. Didn't you have? What was your plan, Kids Move? Didn't you plan to buy the bundle and then sell the game? But you, it yeah. said not for resale. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got gotcha. yeah. yeah. it. You know that, right? You said what? If it's say like not for resale on the back, you can still sell that. Okay, there's no barcode on that bitch though. No, because they get they they are just typing in there, so they yeah, you can resell that. Mm. I mean, no, but I played it. I've been enjoying it. You can't trade it in. You could definitely sell it online. Shit, I just seen I just seen get used games had it not for resale shit on it. Yeah, my Sonic the Hedgehog too. Yeah, they they about. Yeah. Hmm. Um, so yeah, Star Wars is that shit. Niggas can keep paying. I might get it down the line when it's cheaper, oh, but yeah, I, I I like COD over it though. To be honest with you. Sixty for the game and like another fifty for the season pass. That's just a little absurd. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Especially when Starcraft's crazy. out. That's EA and, D- and some people do, are just hating it because it's it's EA and Dice. You know, that's the cool thing. They're, they're the cool uh, publisher to pick on. You know, it's, it's the cool thing. Ha ha! Look at EA and Dice. Fuck out of here, dork. They're the easy target. I mean, you compare yeah. them to like Rocksteady. Because again, I see some people saying like, "Oh, we were all talking about it," but I don't think people were. You didn't see people with a million views on a video saying why I refuse to buy um like uh, Batman Arkham Knight. And, and you know, it just it's double standard to me. Yeah. Just, yeah. Arkham Knight definitely didn't have that much flack, and what the hell did it? No, for not, PC, no, not, no, not for the DLC. No, the no, oh, 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 oh! I about yeah. the PC on the day of day one. Oh, they were ripping that shit to shreds. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I I ain't see that much hate as Star Wars. Like, like ten minute DLCs though. That's and, unacceptable. And bro. each mission on Batman is like fifteen minutes, fam. <laughs> <laughs> that shit on the bro. Son, I was watching somebody play the game, right? Just to check it out, right? I wasn't going to watch the whole thing. Until I seen that shit was like 15 minutes. I'm like, okay, he ain't finished the whole thing. Dude, he finished the whole <laughs> mission in 15 minutes. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Man, you How know much was it? Huh? It's just How much 40 was bucks. It? 40. What? 40? 
What's, cra- what's crazy about boss. that DLC is it adds like certain skins and characters, but you can't play the actual storyline of the game with those characters because they said they made the city specifically for Batman to navigate and like the Batmobile and shit. So you can't even you have the shit that's coming out of the DLC packs. It's crazy. Oh my god. Yeah, they were real lazy with them side uh, DLCs for the for like Nightwing and Harley Quinn. I think you played at her played played mm-hmm. as her Harley Quinn. It was yeah, and then they had a GameStop pre-order exclusive DLC, which again, where was everybody talking? About? I think it was a Red Hood story DLC pack. I hated that. I guess I saw that. Yeah. That was just a lazy game, bro. I'm sorry. The game is beautiful, you know what I'm saying? The storyline is cool, but the, uh, other than that, bro, that game is lazy, bro. I'm Speak, sorry. Speaking of Batman, and speaking of being lazy, so... They confirmed to add, you know, insult to the tragedy that uh, Batman Arkham Knight is on P on PC. Um, they just said, "Fuck it." You know what? <laughs> we ain't gonna we ain't gonna add that SLI or Crossfire support, fam. Y'all ain't getting that. Oh man, said, what a disaster! They said, "Fuck out of here with that shit." No support. Facts. <laughs> and this is why I went with a 980 Ti as opposed to SLing to um, smaller cards like before, because of this crap can happen. See, I saw this shit coming a mile away. I had I had my two 980 Ti's ready. It's a good thing I just said, you know, no, nah, this looks like it's gonna go downhill from here. So I went and got that PS4 Master Race version. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But the sad thing is, you could probably still run it better than the console version, but you have to lock it at 30 frames per second. They say, and that's, no, that's still, unplayable. That's unaccept- exactly. That's, yeah, unacceptable. that's unplayable right there. So technically, it's still better than the console version at this point. But yeah, I'm not playing any game at 30 frames. I'm sorry. <laughs> just not doing it. Oh, How are you just gonna say, nah? We don't feel like it. We quit. We quit on that SLI support. Y'all go go ahead and hold this L real quick. <laughs> like if you got two cards, can't do shit with your two cards. I mean, I I understand for games like Rage and um, what's the other game called, Wolfenstein, because that engine itself just doesn't support it. Period. So it's like an impossibility. You can't do it. But this game, this engine's already been done in the past. Why can't they do it now? Hmm. They made their money on consoles. They just said, "Ladies, are probably telling you that's all it is." Yeah. So, um, yeah, Batman going Arkham Knight on PC forever. It's going forever going down in the vault as one of those horrific, horrific, you know, ports that you can just look at. That's that's what developers need to look at and say, "Listen, you see Batman Arkham Knight on PC. This is what we don't need to do." <laughs> this is exactly what we need not to do on with our game on PC. Exactly, we we do the opposite of whatever the fuck they did on PC, and we got a good PC version. We good. <laughs> and now, how many fun. times did it release on PC? Two. Twice, I think. Twice. Twice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Damn. So, um, B- Bond got to get a little bit of credit, right? Oh. For the first time. A little bit. For the first time. Right, he he got underneath the skin of uh, one of IGN's. Uh, what's his position? Producer. Yeah. Editor. I think he's. I don't know. He like a video editor or some shit. Yeah. And I think he actually is one of the in like their PC division, wasn't he? I'm not oh, sure. Right. He did but, claim that he did record a lot of PC gameplay, but yeah. So if y'all don't know the story. And I'll put the links in the description after the podcast. Y'all can go check it out. So on the podcast Unlocked that IGN has, uh, his name is Finnegan, right? Yeah. Yeah. He said that he's pretty much talking about how Xbox One, they can just, you know, tell the Kinect to record that and record the last five minutes. And he was saying, well, people on PC can't do that, implying that you can't record the last five minutes of games on PC and it's not easy to record games on PC when it was cl- you all you have to do is clearly press one button to record a game on PC. So Bon addressed him on Twitter and he you know he took the bait. I can't believe he he took the bait from Bond and him and Bond went at it for a while and then on this recent podcast he actually retracted his statements. 
because he was dead wrong. And they flagged my video down. Oh, yeah, they did flag Bond's video. <laughs> Trying to <laughs> silence the truth. So. And Bond probably feel good about himself, don't you? I always <laughs> feel good about myself. Why would I not feel good about myself? Oh, man. It's good being me. But it was like, how, how could he say that? How could he say you can't do that on PC? Because honestly, I think when you have a podcast, what is it called, Xbox Unlocked or whatever? Yeah. Anytime you have a podcast that caters to one specific segment, then I feel like they're just pandering, and that's probably what they were doing, and they got caught. He was like, oh, you know, it's a different kind of entry to do that, and as far as I'm concerned, owning a... He said you have to own a 600 series graphics card. Not everybody has, and I'm like, oh, we're on 900 right now. <laughs> like, come on. 600 yeah, series came out in 2012. Like Man, but the thing is, there's a difference between pandering and knowingly saying stupid, outlandish lies. You know what I mean? Because also true. If you a video editor or an editor or a gamer to any extent, you gonna fucking know that PC can record gameplay. But that's just that's a nine thing to say, and it's just crazy that you work for the fucking biggest video game media outlet, and you just sit up there spewing bullshit, man. Don't nobody need to hear that. You know what I mean? Yeah, so that's crazy. crazy. And he was strong about it too. He said yeah. it he was like facts. So he, <laughs> so he, so you don't think he was probably just ignorant to the truth, or I, I just think... really can't believe he can working at that job. Like yeah. it just seems it can't happen. Who I mean, who don't know right now? PC can record gameplay at a press of a button. Like it's I'm built sure. into the it's built into the graphics cards now. It's like yeah, it's exactly. there. That was you just some crazy to play, man. It's been no third-party software required. Yeah. But you know what's not... You know uh, the whole... Um, how many uh, Xboxes sell with the Kinect anymore? Did they like, drop that completely from bundles? I not think so. Get it. No, they, they did have a recent one with a Kinect. They announced yeah. it. A recent one with a Kinect. You, you but, can, but it's not pushed. Exactly. So every video card you buy has automatic recording software on it, but every Xbox One you buy doesn't come with a Kinect. So what's he talking about ease of access and barrier of entry? That was just a real silly statement he made. And then he wouldn't really back up off of it. That's what made him look bad when they was like, you know, bro, you really can do this. We think you can. He was like, nah, nah, nigga, you can't do that. Like, bro, just... <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the VP uh, actually came out and apologized to me. Really? Yeah. Um, he said, in regards to the YouTube video post as a criticism to the Unlock segment... We've removed the copyright strike, and I apologize for that happening in the first place. That action was not vetted through our normal process, which means Sean Finnegan probably flagged it himself. And we're taking steps to ensure all of our employees are familiar with the proper procedure going forward. As critics ourselves, we value open, civil conversation and critiques, and we're not above admitting when we're wrong. We also respect and support the right to fair use, which we depend on every day. So you trying to get a job at IGN, Bond? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> the VP apologized to me personally, or well, not personally, but you know he mentioned why he's apologizing because the flagging of the video and fair use and everything. Mr. Finnegan didn't apologize to me. He apologized to the viewers that mistook what he said and how he misspoke. <laughs> Straight up damage Maybe control. Maybe you want his viewers, bro. You gotta wonder though, like if the video didn't, cause I think it exploded because it was on the front page of Reddit. You gotta wonder if the video didn't like get five hundred thousand views, would they have apologized for taking it off? No. Nope. I, I don't know. Probably not. Cause I was at work when my friend texted me, cause he's one of those Reddit horrors, and I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Mm. Then I went on my channel. I'm like, oh, this video's got like four hundred thousand views. That's pretty crazy. Wait, your video? Yeah, it's got like almost 500,000 views. You lying, I don't believe you. Uh, you're going to take a credit white woman out with that money. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to go check it in. We don't believe you. It is that, um, no, because Trey was arguing with me about views a couple nights ago. I'm like, Trey, my one oh, video man. has over a third of your whole total channel. I don't know about watching nigga videos, man. It's got 470,000 views right now. Oh, and you just uploaded the IGN VP. I didn't even see that one. Um, That's what I said. He apologized to me. I just okay, yeah, to I see that video. Attention. Pay attention. And where's this one about uh? Where's this? Where's this original? Oh, I see it. Damn. Okay. All right. 
There do we get go. something near Bond? Bond I are doing numbers, bro. I smell you. The YouTube check about to come through real heavy next month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. man. You got yourself a little bit of YouTube fame for exposing somebody at IGN. It ain't too hard, though. It ain't too hard. It could have been any of us. We could have done it. Yeah, but you didn't. Maybe we'll, go out, maybe we'll go out to more big fish in the future. Leave these um, mafia members alone. <laughs> go after people with actual established jobs in the industry. Which shouldn't be hard. I mean, I was talking to my one boy who uh, texted me about it on Reddit. I'm like, why didn't we go into the video game industry? You don't need to have any knowledge. You don't need to have an education. You really just need to know how to lie and bullshit. Yeah, to a certain extent, yeah. Okay. Um, so, Fallout. According, based on uh, trophies, I don't know if y'all hear that in my background, so I'm excusing the screwdriver. But wax on, wax off. And <laughs> based on uh, trophies, 14.5% of Fallout players on PC haven't even left the vault yet. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what? I can't smoke play. <laughs> But did you, he only laughing at that because he, him and <laughs> Anchorman be going at it. Wait, fourteen point five percent haven't left the vault. Yeah, you leave the vault in, in like the first forty five minutes of the game, so that means fourteen oh. percent have not have they even played, played the more than forty five minutes of the game. <laughs> Man, they treating uh, Fallout Four like uh, kids will be treating The Witcher Three. <laughs> Didn't they say like PC players long like? A crazy amount of hours in that game, so they just were like leaving it idle or some shit. You know what? It probably it. I doubt it because I doubt fourteen percent of the community is actually modding. But I was thinking you don't need to play the game to mod the game, but I doubt that. Mm. Oh yeah, they said they played four point five million hours already. Yeah. What they been doing, man? Maybe That's a lot of them bought it for Christmas and didn't gift it over yet. I don't know. See, I've only played like an hour and a half or two hours, but I definitely left the vault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I left the oh. vote, and that's about it. Some, somebody in the comments saying that achievement is bugged. That's why only fourteen percent of people got it. It's possible. I don't doubt it. Some of these achievements and trophies be bugged. Bethesda Damn. with a bug in their game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> crazy, right? Never seen that before. I must be lying. A lot of these games, people don't be uh, going through and finishing. Like, listen, I still ain't even put up a first impressions of of. of that game, because I haven't played enough. I'm sorry, like, Battlefront and all these other games that came out, they way important, more important to me than, than Fallout. I'm sorry. I am not on that Fallout bandwagon. I played, like, the first two hours. That's not enough for me to judge the game, but I'm saying so far, I cannot see the hype, I guess. I'm like, still waiting for your... Um... I wasn't hyped to keep playing. You're losing all this credibility today, man. This is I know. Great. Which, I mean, just, just line it up. I didn't like Witcher. I'm Oh, Lost all credibility. Hey, you don't go after them hype beast games. I don't think like Fallout lost all credibility with that. Damn. Ain't like no more open world RPG man. games. They're overrated. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh man. Uh, oh. Yeah, no, I mean you played Bloodborne, and Bloodborne is an RPG. I said, open. Uh, is it considered open world? Well, well it's, no, not, it's not really open world. It's more like. Uh, more like Metroidvania, which is not exactly the same as open world. Explain Metroidvania for these casuals in the audience, like BG, <laughs> that were born in 3D oh, games. Wait, wait, time out. Well, I'm very well <laughs> aware of what <laughs> Metroidvania-style 2D games are. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just basically where there's like a way that you have to go to go ahead, but you can explore. Sometimes you can't go through areas unless you get an item. Like, basically where you can go to different places, but it all depends on what items you have. Sort of backtracking, which everybody seems to hate, but I like it. I like Metroidvania games, sir. So, which ones have you played? Game. What? Which Metroidvania games have you played? Uh, Castlevania, the old they one. They got through playing Tomb Raider. That's technically one. Yeah, it was. I always looked at it as more of a 2D side-scrolling thing, not a 3D game. I mean, it could go both ways, though. <laughs> like, yeah, games where you gotta, like, get different items to traverse different areas. I always consider those ones, too. Hmm. Huh. Ori's like that, too. Yeah, Ori's a Castlevania yeah, type game. Definitely. Um... We can go into one gotta go. I, I, got, I got like two. Got like two for y'all. Um, 
Witcher one, Witcher two, or Witcher three, everybody. All of them. I'm afraid of beat you, you go. <laughs> Uh, all right, so one gotta go. Fallout, Mass Effect, Dragon Age Inquisition. Well, oh. Dragon Age in general, the Dragon Age series. So Fallout, Mass Effect, Dragon Age. See, th- I think the same reason I'm not feeling Fallout is the same reason I'm not feeling Mass Effect. By the way, I don't know. It's just I feel like I got the same you don't vibe. Like Mass Effect? Game. You don't like Mass Effect? Nah, I never liked Mass Effect. I, I tried Damn. one, didn't like it. I'm like, okay, maybe two is better because people told me it's better. Try two. I'm like, I, I don't, I don't see why this game is good. I don't see what's good about this game. So. What RPGs have you beaten, like, recently? At curiosity, at, at any time, to be honest. I you mean, don't seem like an RPG guy now. That you're talking about it. Ah, uh, no, I, I liked, um, like, I liked the old, uh, you know, Japanese, um, turn-based Japanese RPGs, but like, as far as the adventure RPGs. Um, there's not a lot that I like recently. What's the, what, what's probably like the last RPG you completed outside of Bloodborne? And like Souls Souls Bloodborne. Games. Probably like South Park Stick of Truth or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> that was technically an RPG. Um, I did get far in Dragon Age. I did. I did play Dragon Age Inquisition. And I like that. I like Dragon Age Inquisition. But um, yeah. Uh, Bond, you can choose first. Uh, I'm gonna go Dragon Age. Okay. Uh, Darion, I'm definitely going Dragon Age, man. I got too much love for um, too much love for all the rest of the three. All right, uh, Fringy. Well, I haven't played Dragon Age, so yeah, it'll definitely be Dragon Age. Damn, across the board. Uh, Jack, move. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, like I always do. I have zero interest in all of these games. Now, it's probably because they they weren't made in the back of somebody's van and they don't cost nine dollars. But listen. <laughs> Mm. Uh, from the gameplay that I've seen, I would have to go Dragon Age as well. Damn. Yeah. Smooth. Fallout. Get that shit the fuck out of here. <laughs> Opinion. What? Opinion is not relevant, just like mine. Um. God. See, dra- for me, Dragon Age Inquisition definitely not going. So, it's like, what would I rather play, Fallout or Mass Effect? Since I don't like neither of them so far. Uh, well. I th- I think it would be Mass Effect. There's a lot more action in that one. Uh, that's not why I like it. I, I think that's not why most people like it. I think it's the dialogue. Yeah. See, that's yeah, my true. thing. There is I, a lot of dialogue in that game. I, I don't like these games where they put all this multiple choice dialogue in your face. I hate that shit. Well, I think I think it's important because you know you want to try to you're role when, playing. When, yeah, when you're doing a story and you, you're basically. Your decisions out, it, it pretty much weighs your outcome of the, of what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I like about it. Like, when you're playing Mass Effect, whatever you do, you know, you can whatever you do, basically, it it affects what you, what you what the story uh, goes. Like, if you whatever you pick in the dialogue. So I stay focused to that. You know. Yeah, I, I don't like it. I, I like scripted dialogue where you just walk up. Okay, maybe once in a while. They'll give you, you know, a, a, a chance to choose what you want to say. But I don't like walking up to like almost every person, and then having like a, a an oh, actual yeah. conversation. I have to choose what I'm going to say to them. I don't want to talk to you, motherfuckers. I really don't, don't talk to them. You don't have to talk to them. Yeah, it's like, it's yeah. feel, I, I feel like in some of these games, if you don't, you like miss out on certain things. That's what an RPG does, though. Like to where you, if you explore, you get rewarded with all this cool this stuff. This man does not understand it. He goes, "Oh, I hate talking to people in RPGs. Oh, I hate doing everything in open world games." That's the whole point of an RPG in open world. You don't I have like to do everything. everything. World games, but you don't these have RP- to do everything. But these RPGs is like, okay, you have four different answers, and you have to, you have to give, you have to talk to them and give them all four of these different answers to see the four different things they're gonna say. I don't want to hear. I don't want to have to do all that shit. Like, I want to hear y'all talk for that long. Like, I think I think about how much time people actually put into hearing conversations in Fallout Four, and that shit makes my head hurt. <laughs> like, imagine how much talking you have to do in Fallout Four. I don't even like talking that much on the phone, fam. So, you, so you didn't like Skyrim? I, I I played Skyrim, but I avoided conversations like the plague sometimes. Man. Like, I don't even like talking on the phone, man. Y'all think I like talking to NPCs. <laughs> but yet you're talking on a podcast for like two hours every uh-oh, week. Uh-oh. Well, y'all are technically real people, even though Bond sees everybody on the internet as a NPC. 
YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is the biggest, the most fun MMO out there. Whatever. Um, I'm gonna go with. Uh, I'm actually gonna get get rid of Mass Effect. Mm, that is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm, I'm, and we're going to take it back. Some of y'all youngins in the crowd might not even know about half these games I'm about to mention. Uh, I'm going to go... Uh, there's four of them. Four games. One got to go. Ooh, four. Tenshu. Already, and he's like, what's that? Ninjas. Uh, Ninjas, yeah. Bushido Blade. One-hit kill fighting game. Battle Arena Toshiden. Garbage PlayStation launch game. And Omnimusha. Onimusha. Yeah, oh, I always say it wrong. People like, look, <laughs> look at them in the credits. They, they don't know what like three out of four of those games are. All right. Um, Bond. Battle Ring Natasha and they can go. Okay. Darion. I'm a real nigga, dog. I don't play them games, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? Do you even know what those are? Um, I I know what Tenshu is, but I don't know about the any other other ones though. All right, uh, Bringy. Yeah, same issue. I only know about Tenshu. I don't know about any of the other ones. Well, he's yeah, not teen, so he's got an excuse. Like I'm, the, like, I'm the young one. Like, I don't know about the old games. Frankie said well, he was I 19. Know, I do know about... Uh, yeah, I do know about the old games, but, like, you know, I, w- I didn't have, like, a diverse palette of game choices when I was two years old. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. Uh, oh, man, I'm 29. I feel like I feel like Jack definitely ain't played these. I got two things to say about this. One gotta go. It must be National Triplets Day because I ain't played not a one of them motherfuckers. That's the first thing I got to say. The second <laughs> thing I got to say is I got to call the homie BG out. I kind of feel that this is revenge for Bond winning that bet last week. Oh, speaking of which, where's my money? I almost forgot. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Hold on. Look at the CDQ prices Uh-oh. right now. Anyway, um... <laughs> <laughs> Get my money. I, I only played Tenshu and Omni Misha. I didn't, I didn't care for any of them, so I guess whichever left, that's what I listed. I didn't play could go. What is Omni Musha? Um, I, I can't pronounce that shit. I'm, I'm an American. <laughs> oh, God. Um, if I had to choose... Uh, mm, I definitely can't get rid of Oni. That game was amazing. Uh, I like Tenchu, I like the stealth. It's between Bushido Blade and Battle. I don't know. Get rid of Bushido Blade. Oh man, I, I like Battle Arena Toshiden though. I didn't play. I didn't play like the sequels. I only played the first one. I liked it. I didn't even know they had a sequel. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they made two and three. Bushido. I used to get slapped in Bushido Blade because I was playing against like when I played it, I was obviously young and I was playing against my cousin. He was way older and he was like a master at this shit and he would like one hit, one hit kill me with a fucking long sword and shit. But it was fun. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to, go with Battle Arena Toshida. See, there you go. I could have put Ninja Gaiden in there too. People, someone brought that up. Ninja Gaiden. No, that's the game I played. So. Versus, versus Gaiden, then it's Omnibusha. Like I say, Ninja Gaiden. It's Ninja, it's Ninja Gaiden. <laughs> now that game, now that game was hard as shit. You know, that's that's probably one of my hardest games. I I, I couldn't even beat it. I, I I didn't beat it. Um, I think I got one more. These are like pretty. Let me see. Let's get some Atari games up in here. Oh god! So oh, I can feel no. like so I can feel like you guys, but I I don't I don't remember what that is. Here we go. Here we go. Right now, I got I got y'all. Right now, um, okay. Army of two. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, I know these are <laughs> kind of be gonna be dope <laughs> game. Well, first Army of Two was good. After that, it was trash. Army of Two. Red Faction. Saints which Row. one? Which Red Faction? Serious. Which Saints Row? Uh, these, these, these categories are not unfair. You're comparing two series to one game. All right. Red Faction Guerrilla. So that's Army of Two, Red Faction Guerrilla, Saints Row, Saints Row 3. Oh, well, that's easy then. 3 is gone. Yeah, I didn't like Saints Row 3. 
I'm Damn taking it. out Saints Row as well. Because, I mean, look, Army of Two, I don't think is a, is a good game. But I remember playing that thing split screen on my friend's 360 way back. We had a lot of fun on that shit. It was pretty damn fun. Okay. Is this the whole series of Army or two or just the first one? Well, they made a second one? Yeah, they <laughs> made a second one. Yeah, 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 three of them. Like five people on Earth bought it. Uh, I'm getting rid of Army or two, dog. Okay. Smooth? I would get rid of uh, Red Faction. Because okay. I'm the thing is I didn't play Saints Row three and I don't want to get rid of it because I thought Saints Row one and two was awesome. But yeah, I'm three wasn't. Three yeah, wasn't three. awesome. Yeah, but uh, Army of Two, yeah, and then Red Faction. There's not one Red Faction game I like. So did you play Gorilla? Did I play Gorilla? Yeah, probably, probably not. I would have to check. I play like maybe two or three of them. And every time I played them, I just thought they were like just so generically boring. Gorilla was amazing, but um, all right. Uh, just so everybody knows, they brought the ability to customize your Xbox One controller, Dead Zones, and all of that sensitivity. Uh, you don't got to get the Elite controller, you know, so you can do that on your Xbox One now. But I thought there was no problem. If there was a problem, you were just a oh. fanboy. <laughs> That's what I was told. Oh, that was incorrect. There's definitely some dead zone problems on there. Reb was like the leading campaign manager in that. <laughs> I don't know who to believe anymore. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> oh, uh, God. So Kotaku um, released an article called the price of game games journalism and they pretty much they talk about how they've been blacklisted by Bethesda and Ubisoft um, and the reason they've been blacklisted is because they leaked some things some information and put out some articles that Bethesda and Ubisoft didn't like for example they leaked I think it was like the first image and information about uh, about like Assassin's Creed victory which was which became syndicate and they leaked some information uh, about uh, Bethesda when they was making Fallout 4 and everything. And they didn't, I don't think they got this information from, like, these companies. Like, they got them from, like, leaked emails from different sources and everything like that. And they said in the article, so Bethesda and Ubisoft will not answer them whatsoever. They, they can't get a statement from Bethesda or Ubisoft in regards to any article. Um, they... They won't send them any review copies of games. <laughs> they will not respond to them whatsoever. They just completely ignore every request that Kotaku sends. And I, I, I mean, I was reading some of it. I think some of it is is justified, you know. Like, but I don't know. It's, it's not like stuff they got. It's not like stuff they were sent from these companies. It's stuff that they, they got on their own that don't. That, that don't put these companies in a good light, so they got blacklisted for it. What'd they do? Like, for example, um, they got, they got, like, a leaked email, um, from, uh, from some, from somewhere that, uh, talk, that talked about one of their games, uh, in a bad light, or talked about the games in general before, like, these companies were ready to reveal it or talk about it, so it was a lot of leaked information and stuff like that. Well, the thing is, like, Kotaku, they not, you know, they big, but they ain't an IGN a game spot. That's why they getting treated like this. If IGN did the exact same fucking thing, they wouldn't bat an eyelash at it. They'd be like, oh, well, you know, yeah, it might be true or not. But, like, Kotaku, they, they think they're expendable. They can do without Kotaku reviewing their games. And the thing about it is, if they didn't break an embargo, like a review or a preview embargo, and the information probably was actually true, I don't see what the I don't see what the issue is. Like I'm gonna give you an example. It says the Bethesda blackout came after a year of reporting that was not always flattering to uh, the Maryland-based publisher, which is Bethesda. In April of 2013, we reported insiders' accounts of the troubled development of the still unreleased fourth major Doom game. In May of that year, we reported that Arcane. Uh, Austin, the Bethesda-owned studio behind Dishonored, would be working on a new version of Prey, and that some of the studio were not pleased about that. 
when top people at Bethesda started making statements, casting doubt on Kotaku's reporting, then Kotaku published a leaked internal email confirming their statements of what they published. So obviously Bethesda didn't like that. You published a leaked email proving us wrong, blacklist. There you go. That's an example. Yeah. That, that kind of makes sense, though. I mean, like, you got, you got these guys here like, oh, we're getting blacklisted because we reported on this negative leaked news. And it's like, well, of course they're going to blacklist you. Why why would they be like, okay, yeah, sure, let's send you free review code after you basically ruin the PR for one of our games? Um, I think this just highlights the issue of, like, you can't be, you know, that enthusiast press where you get review codes, go out to these review events and at the same time actually be critical. You know, you can't do both. And they're, tr and they're trying to do both, which is, uh, well, they're trying. I don't think they're very good at critical stuff. I mean, these guys are like, gamers are dead, defending Zoe Quinn and all these idiots. I, I mean, Kotaku was run by a bunch of goobers. <laughs> but God. I don't think Kotaku deserves all the blame in this because... First of all, they need to tighten up who they're hiring at these companies because you're supposed to be signing oh, an yeah. NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement. So if they find out that it came from your lips, they need to be suing your motherfucking ass. You know what I mean? So That's, that's how I feel, too. Exactly. Oh, and then you, I remember one uh, Assassin's Creed. Like, this dude was at a Starbucks that was uh, developing the game. This is a rumor, but I think it's true. And he, like, heard a dude in the Starbucks talking about how he loved Assassin's Creed. And the motherfucker was like, oh, really? I'm making a new one. And he basically told him everything about the fucking game. And the dude emailed somebody, and that's how the game leaked. Like, bro, you just got to tighten up your workforce, man. Yeah. Yeah, when you have so many employees, like, how can you really control, like, because I'm sure they be wanting to tell people about their game. Like, there's no doubt about that. How can you control all these employees not saying nothing about a game? Yeah, shit crazy. They've been making for two years. Yeah, I mean, because cause I guess you would be kind of excited, you know what I'm saying, especially if you feel like this product is your baby, you know what I'm saying, and I think that's what it is. You know, people get too excited. They want to tell people about the game, and they they show it. Mm -hmm. So, But um, I've seen a few people talk about this Kotaku article, like our mundane Matt, who I kind of agreed with him on this point because it was written by Stephen Totillo, who's the editor-in-chief of the website. Um, and Kotaku was owned by Gawker Media, which is uh, currently going to have like a Hulk Hogan lawsuit that they're definitely going to lose. Oh, yeah, yeah. And um, the way everybody's looking at it is it's like, okay, Gork is a sinking ship. Kotaku's probably going to get consumed because, t because Kotaku's becoming less and less relevant. So what he's trying to do is by writing this article is earn sympathy. Like, oh, I feel bad for him. He was trying to do his job and get blacklisted so that then he can land on his feet while the ship goes down. I mean, and again, it's like, how does this guy not understand basic journalism stuff when he has a master's degree in journalism? He's like the only real qualified gaming journalist. Yeah. I mean, they I know they knew some some backlash was going to come from them leaking that type of stuff. I mean, you you knew it was coming. You and you you risk it. You know, you wanted to put that information out there and that attracts more people to you and you know, makes it look like you have the inside. The trade-off to that is, I right, well, fam, you ain't about to get our our, our early games yeah. no more. Exactly. And this is what they do not understand if they believe what they said in that article. Like, this is basic. You know, if you're a heavy... A uh, good example would be like, you don't see very critical people of Call of Duty getting invited to the Call of Duty press events early on. The people who get invited are all positive about it, but the critics don't. This is basic. They're not going to invite you if you're going to trash the game. Yeah, of course. But the thing about Ubisoft is, specifically... Most of the games they release to have big fuck shit. And that's why they haven't like they embargoes are so crazy that the embargo lifts the day at like the day after the game release. Like, bro, everybody didn't play it. Like, what is wrong with y'all, man? But it's just it's crazy to me. I guess it was like an ethics thing. They was like y'all like broke the unwritten rule or whatever. But if they reached out to them before they put said information out and they didn't respond at all, then I mean I can't see how they get mad at it. They gotta hold that L. Hold that L. Definitely gotta hold that L. So, do y'all think they should? They should. They actually deserve to be blacklisted. How many times do they do it? They've been blacklisted for like two years. From... No, I mean, like, how many offenses did Kotako do? Was it like a one-time thing or was it like five? Sure it you know what I mean? 
it was a few, I'm sure. And it's been like a year or two years. For I both. mean, on both ends, I really don't have a problem with it at the end of the day because Kotaku, like I said, who go to Kotaku, like, oh, I got to see what they think about Like, I don't give a fuck what Kotaku think about games. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I definitely don't go to Kotaku for, like, gaming news. So, no, I think nobody does anymore. You go to Kotaku when, the, the, once in a while, when, they're ha- when they have, like, some crazy leak. Which is why exactly they they in the fucking trouble. <laughs> exactly why they in trouble. Oh, that's funny. That's the only time somebody go to them. They 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 leak some crazy news that nobody else had. So, that's you want to live that life? Hold that L. Um, so going back to Star Wars real quick. The um. The God Station Four, right? God. <laughs> has more players playing Star Wars Battlefront than the PC and Xbox One combined. Master race shit. Yep. That uh that marketing deal that Bundle paid off. That mass that, that marketing really works. If you remember though, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it it was the same situation with Battlefield Hardline as well. So people just prefer like Playing EA games or dice games or whatever on a PS4 right now. <laughs> this the is push bad. was hard though because I mean at my store they were like on the day of release they had this huge things for like oh the force is strong with PlayStation and all this Battlefront stuff and you couldn't find the Xbox One copies. Yeah, that was after the fact that we started to see them around. Not to mention there's superior games like StarCraft right now on the PC. Oh my god. <sighs> So yeah, the uh, the PC um, at peak had fifty thousand players. Uh, Xbox One at peak one hundred and ten thousand, and PlayStation Four at peak is one hundred and eighty seven thousand. So marketing works. Yep, Spre- spreading that propaganda works. Yep. Um, and so um, like two weeks ago, Uncharted actually the Uncharted collection sold. Um, less than it was like number eight on NPD or something, and it and it tracked behind Yoshi's Woolly World. Now a lot of people use this as a gauge, but do y'all think like this is something that you know it's the collection? Obviously, it's not Uncharted Four. Do y'all think that means something? Uh, no, because from my I think I was looking at I think that was only two days of sales. It might have been I don't know. I think it was only like two days of sales that was going off of. But uh, hey. as a as a the the sales got updated a month ago. I'm going by VG charge, which isn't always credible, but as of as of a month ago, it's already at nine hundred and uh sixty thousand units. So I think it's doing all right. Cause did it come out on a Friday? Mm-mm. It came out on a Friday. It did. Oh yeah. Okay. It did. It came out. Yep. It did okay. come out on a Friday. Yeah, they do that for worldwide launches. But uh, I don't know, man. Because well, I looked at it as uh, it, it's a collection of old games, so like even though it's Uncharted, I I wasn't expecting anything crazy. Well, none of the PS4 exclusives sold anything in October. The ones that came out in October. That was yeah. all the one, right? No, they had they had fucking Dragon Quest Heroes. They had nah, uh, exclusive. That's some that's some Zobi shit. So I don't, I don't play that. <laughs> and then <there's> a few <laughs> other um um Zobi type games that came out that <clears throat> were flooding. Facebook and uh, Twitter and didn't flood the charts. Yeah, I mean, bro, like, you know damn well, like like Darren was saying earlier, whenever a fanboy can fuel some shit, like, you got niggas that can't even barely read talking about, I'm gonna be playing Tales of Zestiria or whatever, like, bro, you can't read, bro, you're not gonna be playing it. Cut it the fuck out, man. I feel like there's a demographic that tries to play, like, the -the out-of-the-box games on purpose just to be different. (laughs) Yeah, of course. <laughs> I, I think that is I see that too man it, it, some of these games is just like you really play that bro be yeah, it, 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 the, the proof right, way. people want to be the ones that play that game that nobody ain't trying to look for G playing Iron Bread <laughs> oh, you know we went the, last week was the first podcast we went without somebody mentioning that hey. first, first one hey man you like it I love it bro and listen, I don't like I Am Bread. I just played it for 15 minutes, and that was it. I sampled it. You know what's crazy? That game is a prequel. Did y'all know that? To what? To what? Surgeon I... Simulator. To what? The Surgeon Simulator. 
Yeah, it was. The, the story of Surge the Simulator is that dude slipped on that piece of bread and fucking damn near killed lying. himself. I swear <laughs> to God. That, is, that, that game is a prequel, bro. <laughs> so he slipped on his on a piece of bread, so that's why he needs surgery? <laughs> yes, that, yes. That is crazy, Zud. But actually, that makes me want to play it now. <laughs> go, shit. It got some lore to it. God. Facts. <laughs> Definitely facts. Uh, so November... November NPD, um, obviously not out yet. October one, uh, Xbox One October. What how y'all think? Which I think will happen November when those numbers come out. Back to um, Sony domination. Xbox yeah. for the win. Uh, I'm gonna go with Sony just because they got Call of Duty and fucking Starfront bundles. So mm-hmm. that's probably what I'm going with. Hmm. I mean, there there was still. I mean, it it's there was still Halo going into November and Tomb Raider, and they did have a Fallout bundle. Yep. Yeah. And, and and I don't know if you guys been in the retail stores lately. Buy Xbox One, pick up a a game, uh, pick up any game you want. That was to combat the Star Wars release. So you might see Xbox One and the NPD. Believe it or not, might outsell um, at least for what they can count the Star Wars. Um, Game might outsell the PS4 version, like how Destiny did uh, during that week. That when you bought, when Destiny came out, if you bought an Xbox One, you could get that game for free. Uh, so that's what they did. Every retail store is um, doing a different deal with the Xbox One. So, um, and I was, I've been to a couple stores trying to buy, looking for Bogos for the PlayStation 4, and there's nothing but Xbox deals going on. So. Hmm. Um, I think it'll be close. I don't, I don't know. Um. Just because I think PlayStation has Call of Duty and it, it works so well in the past. Get every platform got Call of Duty. These but but that's that. the thing. Like, like, it, it worked in the pl- past, like the bundles and stuff it like that. It, 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 worked, it worked in the past, but it's going to be close. I still got Xbox slightly winning, but we'll see. Yeah. So okay. In terms of global, it's like no competition. PS4 is still going to win global. Yeah, probably. I mean, both of them gonna do crazy numbers because it's gonna be fucking Christmas, so that ain't even really a situation. But uh, it's gonna be close in the U.S. It's definitely gonna be close. I think the winner only gonna win probably about ten, fifteen thousand. So mm-hmm. you know, it, it all it all depends on what propaganda is stronger. <laughs> definitely do. Yeah. Damn, if they have more of them damn elite controllers, shit. I can, still can't get one. I got one ordered. I'm just. I, I probably am gonna get one till like 2025. I don't know, man. I can't drop that much on a controller, bro. That joint look nice though, but damn. I dropped uh, 300 on an arcade stick before. Whew. You dropped 150 on a keyboard, you nerd. 170. Oh, 170. Oh god, that's even worse, bro. Still uh, rocking with that 2500K too. What a nerd. <laughs> I'm gonna ride. I'm gonna ride the 2500k till the wheels fall off. You know how I run with PC parts. Yeah, we know. We know. Um, so PlayStation 4 is is pretty much confirmed that it's getting PS2 emulation support. So I'm I'm unsure. I'm actually unsure of how this is gonna work. Are they? Is this gonna be through PlayStation PlayStation Now? Or are they still gonna do it through that? <laughs> I think, I think it's actually through both, like PS. Now, cause I say that because Star Wars, I believe you can buy them games on PSN. Yeah. See, so I think they're gonna do it both ways, like PS2 classics on the store and through PS now, which is trash. But. Yeah. So, and so is PlayStation now dead? Bro, uh, that motherfucker was dead before it's launched, bro. I don't <laughs> see. I don't see why anybody would support it. I'm just gonna be real with y'all, bro. Like it's trash, dog. Like, cause this is the thing, bro. You streaming games, cool, you know what I'm saying? But to stream those games, you gotta have a pretty decent upload and fucking PS4 throttles niggas' connections to the point where it's down there and play. Alright, so the PS2 uh, emulation, um, y'all were saying they might do it through uh, PS now um, <coughs> or separately? Um, I th- I'm thinking they're gonna do both since you could buy, I think you could buy them Star Wars games separately, like I said, but... uh. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think it's I think it's cool, man. I hope they just bring some games out I want to revisit. And it got trophy support, so y'all know I'm a trophy whore, man. Mm. According to everybody, so you know. What PS2 games would all of y'all like to see um, brought back? 
All the Rockstar games. Uh, what else? I like like some shitty PS2 games. I like like Gun. Y'all remember that game? No, that you game good. I remember that. that. That game sucked, but I liked it. So shit like that. Um, I I could do with the getaway, you know, as long as they add some trophies in there, I'll be right. Cause I, I refuse to play any of those games if there's no trophy support. Oh my god, I agree with this nigga on something. Jesus Christ, <laughs> you won't play a game because it doesn't have trophy support. I'm not I gonna. Mean, it, it I'm not sense. going back ten totally years man. to play. If I don't want, if I want to play a game for nostalgia, I'm gonna go and get it on that damn platform when it originally came out. I'm not gonna sit there and play it just because I can and waste hours. I already pl- enjoyed the game. Now I want the trophies. I'm in full agreement with Kia's move. I thought I would never say that in my life. I'm about to put a gun in my mouth, but you I agree. Play the game because it's a good game. Like, who cares if you get trophies? But it's a good game, no doubt. But if I played this game and like, what? What's the reason? You got to give me incentive to rebuy your game, like. Wait, why are we rebuying? I thought it was backwards compatible. You can just throw your old. Oh, game you gotta over. buy that shit, man. That's no, the thing. Uh, then you won't have to buy it again. No, shit ain't free, baby. No, that's man. what I'm saying. Like, you gotta give me incentive to drop my money on this. Yeah, I've been actually waiting up to br- to make another getaway because there was like a rumored canceled one on PS3, but they never made yeah. a new one, man. But I would definitely want to play Getaway. I want to play SOCOM. Uh. Yeah, the the one that they had on the PS3, I remember E3 2005, they showed that damn tech demo. That shit looked at like fucking real people, and that oh, yeah. was supposed to hype up the PS3's graphics. Shit looked Weren't they like at a gas station or some shit? They were like, yeah, yeah, yeah I see. Mm-hmm. Shit looked several times better than what um damn PS3 and Xbox One games look like. Yeah, it looked crazy. I can't, Sony be canceling a whole bunch of projects and shit, man. I don't know. Um, Still got agent. Anybody else? What other PS2 games y'all y'all would like to see come? Uh, Ratchet and Clank trilogy, the original three games. That's mine. Okay. I, I, well, that game yeah. already got remade though. So. But then that's what that's why I didn't say Ratchet and Clank because I thought it was remade out. But I'm looking forward to the next Ratchet and Clank. But oh, yeah, I could here. go back and play Ratchet and Clank. I could go back and do that. Yeah, those games are amazing. I mean, it'll basically just be the, like the HD collection at that point, though. So. Yeah. Mm. But P- uh, PS now is uh, they actually got a good catalog that we were speaking about. It got a good catalog, but nobody want to pay that much. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah. The pricing is all jacked up. Yeah. I would have went like the Netflix route. And yeah, did, like, like, I was looking at it. And I'm like, yo, there's some good games on it. Like the games ain't the problem. They got good games on PS now, but it's the price, man. It, but the reason it costs so much, not to make excuses for them, they got to pay for the licenses to these old ass games, and I'm sure they ain't cheap. So they basically like fuck the consumer. And not to mention they dropped what 330 million on Gaika to even get the technology up and running. It was just a bad. Honestly, bro, PS Now was a terrible mistake, and I and I, I know they regret it. I know they do, and I'm and I'm telling you, in two or three more years, they're gonna regret that goddamn uh VR headset, same oh, the way oh, they yeah. regret move. Like yeah. it, it's just stupid shit they keep doing, bro. It's like, come on, man, just stop. Mm. I don't, yeah, we I don't have any we don't have any like numbers of how many people subscribe to PS Now, but I don't think it's all that amazing. Yeah, I was just, I I was subscribed for like ninety days, and then. It, that was it. Yeah, but, the, yeah, the free thing though, right? You didn't. No, no, I, I had it. Um, no, I, 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 I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to buy it. And I did it, and I'm like, damn. Damn, that was a waste of money. Three months, yeah. Twenty dollars. You gave me month. that twenty dollars. To be honest with you. Sixty dollars. Now that I think about $60. it, sixty dollars oh, a month. Yeah. Jeez. Yep. Well, ain't it like forty five for three months or something? Yeah, see, they, that pricing structure is stupid as hell. I actually would have been okay if it would have just been flatline, fifteen dollars a month or twenty dollars a month, and you just kept it like that. Those tears jacked it up. And then not only are you paying a monthly subscription, you there's still games you have to rent individually. Like you didn't have access to all the games, you still had to rent some individually. Now, I thought, what is No, I, was like, I thought the cool thing that they were doing. Um, if you like pre-order games like God of War, the, rem- um, the remaster, you were getting 90-day access to the previous games. You know what I mean? I thought that was cool, but then they kind of went away with that after after that, pretty much. Bro, it's just it's crazy to me as a consumer because like, all right, I'm already dropping 50 a year. You know what I'm saying? For plus, and gaming ain't no cheap hobby, and everybody know that. But 
How are you going to charge me $50 a year for PSN Plus? And then on top of that, y'all monkey motherfuckers going to charge me $45 for three months, and you're not offering me a discount being a member of Plus. Like, bro, that ain't cool, man. That wasn't cool. Can't rock with it. I I did try. I have been pl- trying out PlayStation uh, View um, to, like, oh, watch yeah. Walking Dead because I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't have cable, you know, or nothing like that. Um, that's I think that's a waste of money. So it play, is. PlayStation View actually is pretty good. They they actually lowered the price by yeah. 5 you can get that shit next to dirt now. Yeah. So I mean, PlayStation View is still cheaper than like having like a cable system, you know, or anything like that. But um, I don't know what the numbers are. People subscribing to PlayStation View, but it's it's a good service too. Even though the only thing I really watch is like The Walking Dead. So. Once Walking Dead is up, PlayStation View is gone. But ain't that like streaming too, though? Yeah. Oh, but man. My dad, my dad smooth, can't have all that shit, man. Yeah, it's smooth. Actually, it's actually really smooth and clear. I got 300 gigabytes a month. I watch about three hours of that shit. I'm fucked. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap. But, uh, all right. Um, we going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up and uh, with these outros. And, uh. I'm going to put all these videos together. We apologize for the little technical difficulty and everything like that. Um, uh, Vaughn, outro. Is he jerking off? He keep putting on his dress. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> outro. Uh, um, always here, Black Vaughn, YouTube, Twitter. I am currently engaged in StarCraft, so um, yeah. my bad. <laughs> Uh, Darion Yeah man um, It's your boy Darion This came from the official We game here dot com Man make sure you all Go check out the Facebook group Aim on point uh, It's gonna be crazy And uh, Me and Kiss Move About to have this Two Two I guess you could say One of you one <laughs> Two oh, people God. podcast Man it's gonna be It's gonna be pretty good Man watch out for it Alright We know how that went Last time uh, Fringy uh, yeah, thanks again for having me. Uh, if you don't know who I am, then you can just check out my YouTube or Twitter. I like game reviews and all that and rants. Though, I imagine people get tired of that pretty quickly, but hey, it's my thing. No, yeah, Fringy be going in on the rants. That's pretty much what his channel's made out of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jag move. Uh, I appreciate everybody for rocking out with me, man. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, didn't I tell you not to add me on Facebook later? We well, don't even remember. But anyway, man, Jack Moo, Johnny across the board. If you can get in touch with me, just get in touch with me, man. And uh, Smooth? Yeah, I got a few. Okay. A few. Add Nerdboy Smooth on Twitter, Nerdboy Smooth, or add me on PlayStation Now, Kid Nerd Smooth. And follow the best bot. Xbox is the best bot. Kid Smooth on Twitter and subscribe to the channel. Good to be a uh, part of the podcast. Did you just put on a, uh, a costume to do that, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to start my game. Looks, like you, got, damn. looks <laughs> like you got multiple personality syndrome or something. I got to start my game. Up. <laughs> Jesus. All right, uh, podcast going to be up on SoundCloud. Um, I'm going to edit these videos together so y'all going to see one video, not three. And everybody's link going to be in the description, so make sure you uh, come back to the video, hit the like button, everything like that, check out the whole podcast. All right, we out of here. Peace.